Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. This is uh, another special edition. This is Nick, and uh, I'll be hosting a show called The Takedown, and we're going to start basically bringing content to you the first Monday of every month moving forward. So without further ado, since we're running a little bit late with technical difficulties, I would like to go ahead and introduce Professor James K. Galbraith. And um, basically, we're going to have a general conversation, but Professor, I would like for you to, to, to kind of introduce yourself to our audience. Well, hello. It's nice to be with you. I'm uh, James Galbraith. I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin, uh, and I do um, work on a number of economic policy questions from inequality to the current state of Europe. Amazing, amazing. I, I know that you do some very, very, very good work. I think I've read a multiple, and I'm starting on, I think, it's your second to last book. I know you just released Welcome to the Poison Chalice, and that's going to be focused a little bit on Greece. And I think I started to read Inequality, Everything You Need to Know, but I've also read um, The End of Normal, and I've read, there was one more. Can't remember, oh, The Predator State. Well, this year has been a bit busy, or last year was. I have two books that appeared uh, the spring, one was called, as you say, Inequality, What Everyone Needs to Know, which is part of an Oxford uh, University Press series. And then I, I published a book just this last few weeks uh, called Welcome to the Poison Chalice, The Destruction of Greece and the Future of Europe, uh, which is an account of uh, the work I did attempting to assist the Greek government in the first five or six months of 2015. You know, what actually brought me around to, to starting to look at you, you've got a vast body of work. You, you, you speak at a lot of places, you give a lot of interviews, and I want to first off thank you for, for agreeing to come onto our platform and to kind of, you know, bring your message and what you have to say to, to our audience here, because I think really we can benefit from what you have to say. Um, I want to start the conversation off where I remember you started to discuss, and I, now your name has been mentioned when they were talking about the, the insularity of the economics profession in general. And I, I remember you spoke about, in the end of normal, you spoke about different factions. Could you kind of kind of explain, you know, a little bit about that? Like there's different factions within the profession and kind of explain, you know, what the major dominant ones are. And then, you know, kind of just give us a brief rundown of each and maybe like a notable name or two that comes to your mind when you think about it. Well, e economics is a study of human societies, uh, and uh, it is a subject which is um, historically defined by ideological uh, positions and divisions, uh, and that that's, remains the case today, although it's fair to say that in academic economics there are uh, a very uh, formalistic and conservative uh, tradition is dominant and has been for a generation. Uh, it is still the case that there are substantial uh, dissident uh, viewpoints, uh, alternative viewpoints, and the subject is evolving. So, uh, what I try to do in the book of uh, in my book, The End of Normal, which is a discussion of the aftermath of the great financial crisis, is to review all of the not all, but the major uh, themes that were uh, uh, explanations that were offered by different schools of economic thought. Some of them said, well, this is just a statistical accident. There's nothing to be said about it, nothing to be done. It, it was something nobody could predict. And there were others who said, well, you know, actually, it was quite possible to predict it. There were certain clear indicators, and those are signs that the uh, market system doesn't work as well as the, as you say it does. Uh, and there were several different variations within that. Uh, general framework. Uh, so I lay out in the book uh, uh, how how these different uh, uh, viewpoints uh, are for, are framed, and I try to also express uh, how I think uh, the direction of economics ought to evolve in the future. What subject, what topics in particular, it does not take good account of that it should uh, do a better job with. 